Is the S&P 500 a safer way of investing than most? Investing always comes with its fair share of risk, but if we're talking about relative safety, the S&P 500 is akin to the steady, experienced hiker of the forest paths, while investing in individual stocks is like meeting a bear face to face. Kind of. You see, the S&P 500 is a stock market index, composed of 500 of the largest companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. What it offers is diversification. You're basically holding a tiny piece of each of those companies. With sector giants like Apple and Amazon shouldering part of the weight, it's like distributing the risk across a football team's beefy offensive line, rather than betting everything on the rookie kicker. Now think about it. If you invest in a single stock, your fate is tied to the fortunes of just one company. A major lawsuit, a failed product, even a bad tweet from the CEO, looking at you, Musk, and you could be watching your investment do the nosedive. In contrast, with the S&P 500, for your investment to tank, you'd need an across-the-board collapse that would hit these top-tier companies hard. It's not impossible, but it's akin to a plot device in a particularly dark and stormy financial thriller, less likely than a localized thunderstorm. Now, I'm settled up here in Portland, Oregon, and let me tell you, just as the Willamette River keeps flowing, an index fund that tracks the S&P 500 tends to keep growing over the long term. And that's what we're after, right? Not short spurts of uncertain excitement, but the slow and steady jog that wins the retirement race. Of course, nothing in the world of investments is absolutely safe. We've seen days where the S&P 500 dropped faster than rain in one of Portland's November gales. But historically, those losses have been recovered over time. It's about playing the long game, just like planting a tree in your backyard and waiting for it to grow until you can hang a hammock between its sturdy branches. So is it safer? In the grand casino of investments, it's close to betting on red or black at the roulette wheel versus picking a single number. You might not hit the jackpot, but your chances of walking away with something are significantly higher. The S&P 500 is like a solid foundation, a diversified portfolio's bread and butter. And let's face it, who doesn't like a nice slice of sourdough, especially when it's a product of the fine bakeries we have here? But I digress. Before you get too cozy, remember to keep your financial advisor on speed dial, or at the very least, do your own diligent research. So, should you hitch your wagon to this star? Only if you like a steady journey over potential warp speed thrills and devastating spills.